mean, there's preparations for the for the World Cup of uh, taking another leap forward with a game against Mexico, and uh, they won by three goals to one. And uh, and Rob, it was a interesting performance. Perhaps maybe some players who maybe stepping up their chances to, to be included in the final squad. How, how did you see? It? Yeah, I think some done themselves uh, a few favours, but yeah. others not particularly so. You know, Walcott, Lennon, Gerrard, you know, those were good games last night. Yeah. Made brief cameo um, appearances in the case of uh, Lennon anyway. But um, overall, I think you know it wasn't a great team performance, was it? No, I mean, I get, you can take positives from it. I mean, I'm sure it, uh, Capello would be delighted to see there's goals coming from different areas of the team. You look at, I mean, not many people would have betted on um, uh, King and, and Johnson getting on the score sheet before yeah. uh, b- before the game. Um, there's negatives there as well. I mean, I don't think many players kind of made up made a real case to be included in that in that starting eleven for the first game. Uh, you look at perhaps people like James Milner, who was a lot of focus on him last night. Yeah. Didn't really happen for Michael Carrick again. No, yeah. Leighton Baines, you know, they haven't really stepped up, have they? No, they haven't. No. I think the only player that came out of it really with any credit was probably Robert Green. He yeah. Had quite a good first half, and I think he'd be the first choice. Mm. But I say, you know, Carrick, Milner never really stepped up to the plate last night, did they? No, I mean, you could see it was interesting where they they showed the Chelsea players watching on, and you look at you look at people like John Terry and, and Lampard and and Ashley Cole, and they probably. Have their, re- their reputations were improved by not playing in a yeah, way. Yeah, probably. Yeah, they probably did have. Um, like you say, you know, players who could have really taken the game by the scrap on it last night didn't quite do it. Yeah. And Mexico, they look really impressive. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, they're going to be, you know, they're going to be a decent side in the World Cup, I think. They've played a lot of games, they've played a lot of friendlies, and they're playing Holland in another friendly coming yeah. up this week as well. Um, they seem very together, kind of unit, which England really lacked. Yeah, I mean, the, the passing was more fluid, wasn't it? Yeah. And, you know, they held the ball a lot more, they got a lot more shots off and goal. England is just more like a laboured sort of performance, but you know, obviously it's you know it's only friendly and there's still another game to come. They play Japan uh, at the weekend. Still time to fine tune and things. There's nothing to worry about really for England at this no. stage. And a few more of the fringe players will get a game as well yeah. on Sunday, so um, that's the big chance for them. Whether they can do that in that match and then Fabio Capello will obviously be uh, picking his his 23 man squad. Yeah, so it's on to Sunday and uh, when, when England face Japan and um, then the countdown really starts.